Hey there, guys. We're going to be going to the Emperor Trial for one more clear. Um, I've seen a lot of comments that people are struggling. They can't get the turn limit in time. They're saying, I don't have any good DPS. What do I do? I'm going to show that all you need is a decently geared friend. We're going to use Gonzi's Barts, and he's not even really whale geared. He's got good gear, um, you know, decent spirit, decent attack, but this is like far from whale tier. He's only got one killer equipped. He doesn't have things like... Um, Xenos, STMR, etc. But he is pretty well geared, and he's going to carry the damage. Other than that, we're using Sephiroth to chain with him. Now, Sephiroth's damage is pretty low. We've given him the free equipment, um, Catastrophic Crown Vest and Bracer. That's a huge spirit boost. Other than that, he's not wearing any super TMRs. In fact, I think he's only got one TMR at all. I think he has only just one. I think the only TMR he's wearing is the Genji Glove. Everything else is free equipment. Um, so yeah, Sephiroth is going to chain with Bart, and we're going to take out this trial. Lauren is going to be our breaker. We're not even going to use Nethosite this time. You don't need Nethosite either. We're just going to do it without. We're going to use Fina for healing. Again, you can use any healer you want. We're using Myra to remove the Imperil. Now, if you don't use Myra, you need to use something like Kryla or um, some of the dual cast Dispelga. But we're going to use Kryla again because she was on a banner where you could... Uh, get her pretty easily, so I think she's accessible. And we're going to use Charlotte. If you don't have Charlotte, truth be told, it's time to unit of choice her. Like, there's really no excuse for not having Charlotte. I mean, I, it's, it sounds harsh to say, but that's just the, the flat-out reality. If you don't have Charlotte, unit of choice her. That's the answer. There is no, if I don't have Charlotte. If you don't have her, get her. <laughs> if you don't have unit of choice tickets remaining, save them up. Because she is the most important unit in probably the entire game for the next year to come. Unless a global exclusive unit comes out. Anyway, about the Emperor Trial itself. Let's let's focus. We're going to use Bart's to power up. Uh, you know, this is just the usual Emperor fight. We're going to do that. Um, Charlotte, oh, Charlotte's on Lock Shamey for stop immunity. I should have mentioned that beforehand. So she's going to stop immunity herself on turn one. Uh, Myra is going to give us turn one mitigation. Now this first turn is the um, the most dangerous turn of the fight because Emperor could kill someone on turn one while we're still getting everyone powered up. As long as it's not Bart, it shouldn't really matter that much. And we're going to shine in here twice, and Sephiroth will just um, chain with supremacy to get some crystals. Now we're not we're not we're not really worried about damage with Sephiroth right now. Alright, so we can use our Charlotte Limit Burst next turn. Ah, uh, so good. So, so he didn't kill anyone, so we're fine. You know, turn one is no big deal. <laughs> As you see, it, it hurts pretty much when she doesn't have her um, good mitigation up yet. Alright, so let's go ahead and Shiny Shear and Divine Veil with Fina. That gives us Charlotte's Limit Burst. Uh, I was hoping to get Lauren from a burst too, but I guess we didn't. That's fine. So we'll interlude and intro. Uh, actually, we might when Sephiroth chains. Let's see, Bart will power up again. Because Lauren's limit burst is actually slightly stronger than her cooldown break. Oh, we, get, we did get it. Perfect. So we can um, use Lauren for her limit. So this uh, shooting star turn does less damage. Alright, he hit Bart with that. Sucks, but it's alright. Because Bart is not fully powered quite yet. Ah, uh, let's see. Myra will cure that imperil on the team. Charlotte will stop resist again. Fina will shine and cheer twice. Um, actually, Fina's gonna do a prime heal and a shine and cheer. Top people off. Uh, and Sephiroth will chain. I guess we'll chain with Lauren.
just for the sake of it. But as you can see, Sephiroth's damage is <laughs> it's not a factor here. He's only really the chain with the Bart's friend. is now ready to chain for real. So let's see, turn four is Elixir. If I duel a Spellblade, I can burst the next turn. No, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do it differently. Yeah, we're gonna uh we're gonna fragments and spellblade. Sephiroth will supremacy. Lauren will break. So this is not gonna chain proper, this is gonna break. That's fine. Alright, um, let's see, Fina, we will Divine Veil and Shining Shear, and Myra, we'll just keep singing. Yeah, Myra's really only here for her, uh, her Limit Burst. That's her only purpose for the most part. We're not going to push a threshold this turn, so we're just going to save Dual Spellblade for the turn after. This turn we'll just Dual uh, Sword Dance. Perfect. Uh, let's see. How sharp is Carver looking? Three turns. Yeah, we're going to save her limit then. Here. Let's do a Manatopia, just for the sake of it. And Charlotte will... Er... What's her name? Myra. Alright, this is going to be the Shooting Star turn. at the Bart's friend. It's a little annoying. Alright, this turn the boss has mitigation, so we're not going to bother um, with really anything. We're just going to chain, and we're going to unlock dual spell blade, which won't push a threshold. Alright, next turn will, though. Uh, Lauren will just break again. Really, all Lauren can do is break every turn. If you have, if you have Edgar or something, uh, it'd be even better than Lauren, but we don't. Let's see. We'll cure that in peril with Myra. Now we're gonna push the threshold with with Bart's. Yeah, if you're using a, if you're using Bart's, it's important to never use his um, unlock and, and let it land on a turn where the boss has mitigation. So that's just a total waste. But now the boss doesn't have mitigation, so we're gonna brave blade him really hard. So the boss is at 89%. A single Bart's does basically 19% um, through mitigation. All right, so we're not gonna have. Uh, we're not going to use Nethysite, so the boss is going to dispel us, you know, whatever for the most part. Uh, so buffs don't matter, so we're just going to Manatopia and Shining Cheer. Actually, Fina's going to Shine and Cheer twice. Because I want to fill up Myra. Yeah, Myra will just cure Asia. It's like whatever. And Charlotte will guard. Alright, we lose all our buffs. No Nutsight, which is not that big of a deal, as I've mentioned. Uh, let's go ahead and push the boss again before we do anything. 
Myra is gonna uh, main burst first for the attack buff. And let's do album cover as well. Alright, let's go ahead and chain. Oh, I should have used Charlotte's one of burst first. Duh. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, and Fina, we need a fire resist buff, so we will fire resist and shiny cheer. So the boss is going to elixir here. Now you might stop Charlotte if that does. If that happens, I've got a plan for it. Uh, if you stop Charlotte, I'll use Myra's Limit Burst, and then I'll entrust Myra. So her Limit Burst is ready again the turn after. But if she, if she doesn't stop Charlotte, then we're fine. And he didn't stop Charlotte, so we're good. So we'll just stop Protection now. This is the Starfall turn. Um, yeah, we're just going to Chain again. Alright. Uh, Starfall turn. With Garo Born, because there's no point doing anything else. Uh, Myra will give us an outro, which gives us a barrier, and then we'll intro. Uh, Fina will go ahead and AoE Limit Burst. Just for the safety, for the re-raise. I don't think we're going to need it, but you never know. He may, like, pick on someone, like, you know, he may nuke Myra four times in a turn. Alright, now nah, we're good. <laughs> okay, so the boss has faith now, which means he's dealing more damage. So that's okay. Let's go ahead and cure that in peril. Uh, let's break the boss. Let's see, chain them. We're gonna dual spell blade to get it ready, because the boss has mitigation this turn, remember. Let's wait for a uh, Lauren to finish her limit. Alright. Do our chaining. We'll just guard Charlotte for the turn. Nothing for her to really do. We're gonna push the threshold next turn. Uh, Fina, we will Divine Veil and... I guess we don't, we don't need Divine Veil either, actually. We're just going to shine and cheer twice. To fill limit, we're going to push a threshold in just a moment. So I kind of want to fill uh, Myra's limit burst back up. For the safety. Alright, he picked on Sephiroth. That was rude, but uh, Sephiroth's wearing that catastrophic set, which you get for free from the easy mode of the egg trial. So that he has huge spirit because of it. Alright, we're going to get Dispelled again, so that's Brave Blade first to push that threshold. Perfect. Um, Lauren will do that. Uh, we're going to get Dispelled, so none of this matters. So Myra will just Curage up. And Fina will Manitope. No, Fina will Shining Cheer twice. I actually don't need Shining Cheer. So, whatever. Alright. Threshold, we're getting Dispelled. We're not using Nethosite. You know, Nethosite is a help if you have it. It's not a requirement if you don't. We're going to go ahead and redo that. Uh, we need to do Resistance and all that kind of goodness. So, we will Divine Veil and Shining Cheer. Myra will intro and let's do AoE re-raise with a live concert for the safety. Let's go ahead and do our chaining. This is the elixir turn, so the boss is going to heal. Oh, I wish we could have pushed that threshold, but we can't, so whatever. Go ahead and guard. Alright. 
Next is going to be the Starfall turn. Or the, not the Starfall. Alright, so here's the uh, the danger zone, what happened. We we had Charlotte stopped on a, on a bad turn. So we're going to go ahead and cure that stop with the Myra Flimmer first. Do stop immunity. And now we're going to entrust Myra. We have to use the Flimmer first again next turn. So we need we need to make sure it's ready, so we're going to entrust her so it is ready. Uh, let's go ahead and chain again. Now you'll notice Bart's rotation. He's uh, Dancer Sword Dancing on the Elixir turn and the Starfall turn. Then he's Dual Spellblading on the... Um, what's it called? On the third turn, which is when the mitigation is up. And then he's using Brave Blade on the start of the next turn, which pushes a threshold and resets the rotation. This is how you allow the Bart turn to pretty much carry all the damage. Okay, remember, we're using a Sephiroth with, with 1,800 attack. Yeah, it, get, it gets painful in this phase, and of course he's picking on all the DPS, but as long, long as you've got really high spirit, your DPS should be okay. Alright, now we're going to dual spell blade to... Uh, before we do that, we're going to use Myra's Limit first, the third turn in a row. Uh, let's go ahead and dual spell blade now to unlock his big burst. And it is possible we can push the threshold here. We didn't. That's fine. Technically good that we didn't. I'd rather not. Um, so that's healing glory. Uh, Lauren will just cast a cure right here to help heal. <laughs> it's gonna heal like one thousand hit points. How much did heal? Oh, two thousand. Impressive. Uh, but yeah. So we want to fill the gauge here. And we've got Myra's on the first, so it's going to top us off. Alright, he's picking on Lauren this time. She got a double she got a double meteor, or a double comet. Alright, we're going to go ahead and push the boss now. With Brave Blade. Which means we're going to get dispelled yet again. Go ahead and do our burst. <laughs> 14, pretty nice. Uh, we're going to break the boss. There's nothing for us to do because we're going to get the spell here. So it's healing glory. Uh, we want to fill limit gauge because, again, we might get stopped. So we need Myra's limit ready to deal with that. And Myra will just cure Aja. Okay, so the boss is going to gain mitigation this turn and dispel our team, which is fine. We'll just put up mitig we'll just put up mitigation with her. Uh, Myra's going to intro and album cover, I guess. Uh, Fina is going to... We're going to AoE re-raise. It's Divine Veil and Eternal Light for the re-raise. Now, the boss has mitigation this turn, so we're not going to deal hardly any damage. We might even push the threshold. It's possible. Probably not, because we've only got one bar to really deal any damage, but maybe. Oh, we will, actually. We push the last threshold. That's convenient. Uh, so does Guard Lauren. Nothing to do here. Okay, so we need to uh, chain again. One turn on dual spell blade. He's gonna re-raise again next turn, so there's no point in uh, doing anything about it. Okay, he's got mitigation and all that goodness too. He just spelled himself. What a jerk. Uh, so who has? Uh, so we're gonna cast Bar Farega with Lauren. That's for the green magic mission. It also gives us fire resist again because we had it dispelled. Athena will uh, Divine Veil, and really nothing else matters. <laughs> we'll just guard. All right, here's the last, um, the last re-raise, whatever. Uh, so let's go ahead and dispel the boss with Myra. Get rid of that re-raise. 
Let's see, the spell go. Lauren will imperil the boss. Let's see. And we'll dual spell blade. Alright. And we'll guard. Finish him off next turn. Okay. And Brave Blade for the finish. And we'll get a Limit Burst mission for our Limit Burst ready for that mission. And there's Limit Burst kill. There we go. 19 turns with a Barge Friend. This team had zero Super TMRs. We used a Sephiroth that did maybe 3% of the entire damage of the fight. The Barge Friend did 97%. That's all you need. You can totally have this fight carried with a Barge Friend. You don't need your own meta DPS. Just grab a decently geared Barge. This was not even a Whale Barge. This was, you know, Gonzi, who's an amazing uh, streamer and YouTube channel. He can, um, he has good videos for this fight as well. But yeah, that's just trying to show that you don't need, you don't need your own super good DPS. Anyway... Hopefully this has been somewhat helpful for those of you that are struggling on the fight. See you guys soon.